Local organization and mobilization unit LOM evolved from GDCA Secretariat in 2001 as part of an organizational development process undertaken by GDCA and its Danish counterpart Ghana Venskan Groupen in Denmark in 2000. This process involved the separation of decision making structures of GDCA as an organization from those of programs being implemented by it. Consequently, GV in collaboration with GDCA applied and received funding from the Mini Project Fund under the Project Counseling Service in 2003. The CBO Network project was therefore implemented in a two-project period. The project initiated a framework that established a CBO network in 12 districts of northern region. One of the results of the process has been the establishment of a network of CBOs involving those associated with the GDCA programs as well as those of other programs which formed the mass organization of GDCA while at the same time working to ensure the continued delivery of development services in an integrated manner in the communities. In January 2010, the CBO Empowerment Project became the local organization and mobilization LOM subcomponent and became part of the Empowerment for Life program E4L. The CBO LOM unit in GDCA works with the objective of improving the capacities of community-based organizations CBOs and local non-governmental organizations NGOs as well as women and youth groups to hold public office holders accountable and to lead in the development of their communities. The overall strategy is local organization of the CBO networks at the community, area, district and regional levels through capacity building of these networks to become more conscious of the rights associated with policies and issues that affect community development. During the first phase of the local organization and mobilization subcomponent worked to deliver three objectives. These include the following to improve capacities of CBOs, local NGOs, women and youth groups, to hold public office holders accountable, and to lead in the development of their communities to further reinforce the CBO network structures and enhance networking of CBOs in 14 districts from the community to the regional level to form a strong pressure group to influence the design and proper implementation of pro poor policies at regional and national levels in the most effective way. The CBO LOM units also focused on facilitating the development of the district partner platforms DPPs which has now expanded in phase 2 with an objective of improving the functionality of the public governance system by December 2014. The phase 2 has a 3 year lifespan and commenced from January 2012 to December 2014. The CBO LOM is operational in a total of 14 districts in the northern region of Ghana in the eastern and western corridors. The districts include 
the Tamale Metropolis and the Yendi Municipality. Others include Tolon Kumbungu, Savlugu Nanton, West Mamprusi, East Gonja, Kandai and Gushegu districts. The rest are Karaga, Cheleponi, Saboba, Zabzugu Tatale, Nanumba North and South districts. Since the inception of the CBO Law Unit, the principle has been all along to work not for those who suffer from social injustice, but to work with these people. And so our strategy has been mobilizing the grassroots, building their capacities, and letting them advocate for whatever services that they lack in their various communities. And so if you look at the CBO network structure, the members are those who are engaged primarily in advocating for what services they want in their communities. Currently, the school building that these children are in was through the advocacy that was done by the CBOs. What happened was that before 2010, children from this community and other communities surrounding this area would have to cross that big stream over there to uh, the community at the roadside, Sarangbang, to attend school. And what usually would happen is that any time there was heavy rain, this community, the children could not go to school. So they would rather go to farm with their parents or they would just stay in the house. And so when our CBOs or the CBOs actually uh, realized us, they began an advocacy work. And you know, we facilitated the mobilization of the communities to ensure that they initiate the needed programs and projects for their own development. Um, we also have structures that are working together to see that we are able to uh, have an effective approach to our advocacy uh, schemes and in that case we have um, the, what we call a one-stop shop which you know um, is uh, operational at the uh, districts and the community level, you know, which actually brings together all the different units, all the different um, projects, the all uh, project staff that are at the community level, at the district level, working together on these things. And there's a lot of support that has uh, come from there, from that level. Uh, all these form the basis of, you know, mobilizing communities at the community level, and these all form part of the CBO network. And therefore, all these things, um, the, these ones work together to provide the critical mass that is needed to mobilize the citizens at the community and district level. The regional annual CBO festival was instituted in 2007 as an advocacy platform for CBOs and LNGOs to collaboratively advocate on issues of concern to development. The first event was organized in 2008. The 2012 CBO Festival, for instance, came off between 27th and 29th of September 2012 at the Ghana National Association of Teachers, Nut Hall, Tamale. Participants included CBOs from 84 area unions and 14 district federations. First of all, St. Ghana has worked with the GDCA at the CBO Festival. Out of these interventions, we have been able to raise advocacy issues such as the issue of the Fulani herdsmen devastating farmlands, in particularly northern Ghana and beyond. We have also been able to advocate for the need for DCEs to be elected. Besides that, just last year, in the electioneering year, we advocated for peace. And by and large, most of these advocacy interventions have yielded much benefits. First of all, the issue of the Fulani Herdsmen has been 
in, uh, interventions have been occasion. The government of Ghana used the uh, military and security forces and also advocacy and discussions with the Fulani headsmen and that has reduced. The Youth Empowerment for Life is in the uh, Empowerment for Life program alongside uh, CBU loan. And also we are in the same component, component two. And the component looks at civil society strengthening. So there are subcomponents one and we are subcomponent two. Now the work the CBU's uh, when CBU loan is doing is very good too. They is very beneficial to the communities because they strengthen the communities at the grassroots, give them capacity to build up a uh, community action plans which is sent to the district assemblies to be factored in the median term uh, plan. Now this thing is beneficial because it gives the community a unified voice. Uh, GDCA they have helped me a lot. They organize their best in my electoral areas. Though today campaigning community sensitization and capacity building in fact uh, capacity building was the one important thing they did to all women not me alone and it really helped us uh, through this capacity building i got to know how to lobby to other uh, developmental partners to come to my aid and then help me with an expected outcome of an integrated development plans inclusive of community development aspirations cbo networks have been trained in the preparation of community action plans its objective is to enhance the capacity of cbos to facilitate the formulation of community level development plans and its integration into district development plans the cbos have been trained in other areas such as advocacy report writing good governance local governance peace building proposal writing and the community scorecard methodology the expected outcome is an improved engagement of the local government agencies by the federation of cbos in various districts 14 peace drama clubs have been established and trained in peace building and promotion including the use of forum theater as a tool in all the cbo districts the activities are expected to strengthen the ability of the members to identify and curb potential conflicts as a result the awareness of communities to self-manage conflict and build peace has been enhanced also community members and cbo's understanding of conflicts have been enhanced a lot of communities have established conflict management committees to manage latent conflicts in various districts peace drama clubs are using the forum theater techniques in peace building and promotion <laughs> Non, 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 non
Tu es sur Je Partnership that has come to be associated with the election and appointment of members into the district assemblies has become a major challenge to using it as a channel for increasing female representation in the district assemblies. This has greatly undermined the efforts of the subcomponents to get more women into decision making. This is because largely the political parties are very much male dominated and continue to be so. Non-functioning of the MMDA's substructures, non-involvement of the local people in the preparation of medium-term development plans that affect decentralization process and action plans as a whole, inadequate donor support. A lesson within the period is that institutionalization of the DPPs in the calendar of district assemblies has a potential to increase the commitment of the district assemblies to some of the challenges mentioned above. It will also promote the sustainability of the DPPs itself beyond the E4L program period and deepen democracy at the local level. Though the district assembly remain a nonpartisan entity by legislations, it is necessary for the inclusion of the political parties in government as targets of advocacy and lobbying in order to increase female representation.